I'm actually a little nervous for today's video and that's because I'm not the one in control. Someone is actually going to be controlling my entire makeup routine and that somebody is no other than Allie Dawson. Allie and I decided to do a fun little video where I get to control her makeup routine and she controls mine. So she picked out all of the products that I'm using today. She told me exactly how to use them. It's very different than my usual. So we're gonna do something out of our comfort zone today. But I think it's gonna be really fun. So let's see how this look turns out. I brought reinforcements. I have all of my eyeshadow brushes here because if you guys know Allie, you know that she loves colorful eyeshadow. So I need a brush for every color. <laughs> so if you guys are new, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy. And let's go ahead and get started. Also, my skin is a little bit angry with me um, and that's okay, it's normal. So we're just kind of embracing the uneven skin tone and breakouts. <laughs> also, I do have a little scratch here, um, Poncho's Claw got me when he was playing, so um, <laughs> that happened this morning. Um, it's not like a cut, it's just like a really deep scrape, so um, yeah, this is our normal natural face with absolutely nothing on it. I low-key think Allie's trying to call me out on my bluff for the fact that I like glowy skin, dewy skin, even though I have oily skin, um, and that's because she decided that I was gonna be using two glowy primers, a primer oil for one, in addition to a very glowy primary type product. I will have all the products that I'm using today linked down below in case you guys are interested. Um, so yeah, for her, I pretty much did like my routine. Like these are the products that I would be using if I had your collection available to me. These are the must haves. Um, she, I think was low key trying to sabotage me. So <laughs> um, let's, Let's try this out. Also, if you guys wanna watch Allie's video and see all the products that I picked for her to use and see how her look turns out, make sure you guys go check out her video. Go subscribe. I will have her video linked down below. And um, yeah, if you guys don't know who Allie is already, um, then I you should go check her out. So we're gonna start by going in with the Jaclyn Cosmetics Primer Oil. Um, I'm just gonna put a few drops of this into my hand and rub this all over my face. It's been a while since I've used a primer oil, so I'm just kind of pressing this into my skin. Hopefully, I didn't go in with too much, but we are already looking extremely, extremely dewy. This was basically supposed to be just like a fun challenge for each other to do something that wasn't our go-to comfort zone makeup routine. So <laughs> I think Allie definitely did a good job. She, I think I have five lip products. It's a whole lip routine. Um, she gave me a video to reference so that I know how to do it properly. <laughs> I usually just go with a bullet lipstick and I'm done, so that's what she's gonna be doing. <laughs> um, so I think she's gonna like it more than she thinks. I know she was a little bit nervous about no lip liner, no overlining, that type of thing, but I think that she'll end up liking it. So now I'm going in with the Charlotte Tilbury, what is this even called? Uh, Hollywood Flawless Filter. I have this in the shade too. So usually when I apply this product, I put it on my skin like this and then I put my foundation, like dot that around my face and then I mix it all together. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. But Allie actually gave me two foundations to mix together. We have the NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation and the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. So I'm gonna give these a good shape <laughs> and mix these on the back of my hand. So I have the foundations mixed together here on the back of my hand. This is definitely gonna be too dark for me, but you know what, it's fine. I'm gonna go in with my go-to foundation brush, the F42 from Bling Brushes. This is part of my extended collection collaboration with them. You guys can use code PAGE for 10% off. They will be linked down below. So <laughs> um, let's go ahead and tap on into this and then we're just gonna dive right in so like i said i just kind of blend those products together actually this color doesn't look too terrible it looks better than i thought it was going to and this coverage i'm living for this coverage here also happy valentine's day or galentine's day or february 14th happy february 14th to everybody out there so this is what our base is looking like the foundation is definitely too dark for me um but it doesn't look it doesn't look terrible for concealer Allie assigned me this fenty um bright fix eye brightener i have this in the shade two i honestly like 
haven't used this in so long so i have no idea what my thoughts are on this is this a concealer is this just an eye brightener how does this work so this is how it looks blended out it's actually very brightening i like that a lot i feel like it didn't really it doesn't really add a lot of coverage um so i like to apply it concealer to like the center of my face here to kind of add a little extra coverage because that's where I tend to break out the most but this didn't really add coverage for me but it does look really pretty and did a really good job of brightening my under eye area. I think I'm going to add a little bit more foundation just to build up the coverage like where I have some extra redness. For bronzer, Ali assigned me <laughs> as if it was a homework assignment. <laughs> I have the chanel bronzer this is what she picked for me and i haven't used this in a really long time either so i don't really know how i'm going to apply this i think i'm just gonna use my sponge i think i'm just gonna dip it directly in there and then like tap this onto my skin starting off with like small amounts and building it up so i made myself even tanner than i was before <laughs> <laughs> now um i am going to at least set my under eyes with some powder i think i need to re blend under there just because my concealer is already starting to crease so i'm just gonna tap under my under eye area under my under eye area under my eyes and then we're gonna set them with powder for powder ali picked the la mer the powder for me i'm excited to use this this is a super expensive powder and um, i definitely don't use it enough for how much this costs so let's go ahead and set our under eyes i'm using the f43 for my collaboration and i'm gonna set my under eyes like i said I'm also setting like my forehead and my chin. I am going to use a cream or a liquid blush today. So I'm kind of avoiding this area just to help that blending process a little bit. And speaking of blush, we're going in with this one from Rare Beauty. This is in the shade Grace. These are so pigmented. I'm just going to do like a tiny dot on each side of my face to start with and then we'll go from there i'm using my sponge once once again and we're just gonna blend out i actually used one of these the other day i used the more orangey one i think it's in the shade joy and it was so pretty like i loved it way more than i thought i was going to and i've had these for quite a while but they're just i don't know there's something about them like they're popular for a reason also i feel like we are so far away from each other like i feel like i have to yell to talk to you so let's zoom in a little bit i think i'm gonna add even a little bit more blush literally like the tiniest bit more just to intensify it a little bit okay our blush is popping um ali also picked a powder blush for me so that i could set this so i'm going in with benefit blush in the shade shelly i'm just gonna take a tiny bit of this and just lightly tap that over the liquid blush for brows she told me to use a pomade so i'm using the abh pomade the dip brow i didn't bring oh luckily i have my other eyeshadow brushes here i was about to say i didn't bring a brush to use this so i'm gonna comb through my brows i have pretty full eyebrows i literally barely use any brow product like i use a brow pencil just to kind of like even out my arches so typically i don't go for something like this but ali's in control of my makeup routine today so that's what we're doing i feel like i have not been on like the super sharp bold brow trend in a long time like i have pretty bold brows for i feel like i don't know i just have dark eyebrows naturally and very full brows naturally um but i feel like the super sharp clean brows just like i haven't done that in so long i usually just am very relaxed with my brow routine so it feels weird to to put so much effort into them she told me i could use any clear brow gel so i'm using the benefit 24 hour brow setter i absolutely love this stuff now it's time for eyeshadow so originally i was supposed to use lashes but i actually don't have any lash glue I, I did have a bottle of lash glue, but it's completely dried up. So I have no lash glue. Allie doesn't know this yet. So I'm not going to be able to wear lashes. Um, but she picked a very colorful look for me. I'm going to be using the Michaela Glam White palette. This is the one that she chose for me. And this is the region that we're sticking to. So 
<laughs> Let's see if I can make this work. I'm gonna start by priming my eyes using my MAC Pink Pot in the shade Soft Ochre. So we have a blue and purple eye look that we're doing today. I'm gonna start by taking the shade, oh, I don't even know. We'll start by taking Rhodey, I think, this like matte blue color, and I'm gonna put this on the inner part of my eye. I only said that I have to do, um, oh shoot, I did this wrong. I have to do a halo eye, and I, I already did it wrong. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine, everything's fine. So yeah, I'm just gonna put this shade on the inner part of my eyelid, as well as the outer part. <laughs> Now I'm going to take the shade Pot 2, which is this purple color, and I'm going to put this pretty much all over the center of my lid. Okay, now I'm going to take the shade Nas, which is this shimmery color, and I'm going to put this on the center of my lid. So I had to restart, at least my eye looks, because I did not like the way that it was looking. I did blue on the outside, but then the middle shade was more blue than it was purple. So I took it all off, reprimed. So now I have purple on the outside, blue on the inside, and then I have that shimmery shade. So um, on the bottom, I used, actually, let me, now I'm confusing you. So outside I have Frisky, then Mass Hole for my top part of my lid, then I have um, Nas on the center and then for my lower lash line I basically mimicked the same colors except instead of the dark purple and the dark blue I used the light blue and the light light purple for my lower lash line and then I used that same shimmer on the center and then I used the highlighter on my inner corner brow bone which we haven't used the highlighter yet but we're also using the Michaela highlighter <laughs> um, so that's what I did I'm gonna do it to this side now I just went ahead and did one eye just to make sure that I could like make it look okay so frisky on the inner corner and outer corner. So I have this purple on the outer corner and inner corner. This is definitely one of those like trust the process moments. So I'm just going to kind of like bridge those together just until I get the general shape that I'm looking for. Then I'm going in with the shade mass hole and I'm gonna put this on the center of my lid. Then I'm gonna take the shade Nuss on my finger and tap this on the center of my lid. And then I'm basically just gonna go back and forth between the blue and purple until I can make it match this eye. For highlighter, I'm going in with the Michaela and Glam Light collab, and I'm gonna put this all over my face, pretty much. I'm gonna set my face with my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I'm going to put on Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. So for the lip combo, um, I literally have five lip products that she expects me to use. So um, I'm gonna wipe off the lip balm that I have on because I don't need six lip products on at the same time. So um, we're starting off by using the shade Toasty from Jack and Cosmetics. This is one of her lip liners and we're gonna slightly overline. I don't typically overline. I don't really like care to increase the size of my lips or the appearance of the size of my lips so i just tend to stick to my natural lip line but we're gonna overline a little bit today so my lips are slightly overlined now i'm going in with the shade v bold from jacqueline cosmetics and i'm gonna put this all over my lips so here's what the shade v bold looks like it is super dark compared to what i typically wear so we're just gonna vibe out with that. Now I'm gonna take this shade, which is Gratitude, and I'm gonna put this more on like the inner part of my lips. So kind of like here, not bringing it all the way to the edge. And then I'm gonna take my finger and just kind of tap that out to help blend it. Then we're gonna take the shade Oh Hi and pop this on the center of my lips. And finally, we have the lip gloss from Lunar Beauty. This is in the shade Starlight, and I'm going to put this all over my lips. And this is the finished look. This is the look that I got by using all of the products that Allie told me to use and exactly how to use all of them. <laughs> I gotta say, not a fan of this look. Not at all. I feel like the lips and the eyes definitely aren't vibing for me. I feel like maybe the lips separately and the eyes separately would look cute, but together, I feel like... I don't know, maybe I'm just not used to seeing myself like this, but it's it's definitely interesting. My lips are so dark. I am not one to wear dark lips like this. I just feel like it's a mess waiting to happen. <laughs> it's just not practical.
practical for me. Um, I would rather wear something that I'm just more comfortable in, but you know, I, I can't say that I would wear this look out, but it was fun to kind of play with different products and use them in different ways that I normally would. Um, I can't believe how long it took me to uh, do this lip look. <laughs> um, yeah, wow, a five-step <laughs> a five step lip. It is really pretty and unique. I just don't think that it looks good on myself personally, but um, <laughs> yeah. I can't wait to see the look that Allie created. Again, I'm just like, oh, I'm like, I don't like, I need to like stop looking in the mirror because I'm like scaring myself. <laughs> And I'm getting lipstick on my teeth, which is just fantastic. So that was today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. My hair, I feel like, looks so bad. Oh my goodness. This is, my hair isn't heat style today. We've just got my naturally air dried hair. So maybe I can make this look a little bit cuter. Yeah, no, I don't even think the hair can make this look cuter. So. <laughs> Um, yeah. So like I said, if you guys enjoyed today's video, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I will have the products that I used today linked down below in the description box along with Allie's video. I literally cannot wait to see what her look looks like. I think she's gonna love it. I hope she loves it. So anyways, that's gonna be it. I love you all so, so much. I hope you have a wonderful day. There's lipstick literally all over my TV. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.